So the first meal I want to show you, actually, obviously I didn't cook myself. We went out for an evening, just my husband and I, and we went to Miller and Carter. Now we've never been to one of these restaurants before, and it's basically a chain steakhouse. We had a sharing steak, which was lovely. You get a lettuce wedge, you get sauces, you get an onion loaf. So if you are in the UK and you've never been to Miller and Carter, what I would say is go onto their website and sign up to their club. It's absolutely free, and we both both got a free complimentary glass of wine for our first visit so it's really worth doing because that glass of wine is six pound each so we save 12 pound to start with so i really recommend signing up on their website before you visit just a little tip this isn't sponsored but i just thought i would let you know if you are heading out then it's worth trying so i just thought i'd pop this in i'm just starting some meal prep for during the week steve and i have decided that we want to eat a little bit healthier for lunches and stuff and rather than grabbing convenience foods we are going to make up some chicken and vegetable in tubs so that steve can take it and heat it up at work i can heat mine up here because i work from home um, so what i've done is i've got some chicken breast we're just weighing it out so each chicken breast is about 200 grams which is absolutely massive but nice and high protein which will keep us fuller for longer I've got some of these zip and seal freezer bags. I'm just gonna put some smoked paprika, some lime juice, some garlic granules, and some cayenne pepper into one of the bags. Probably around a tablespoon of each, maybe not a tablespoon of cayenne, maybe half. I'm probably gonna put, I don't know, the bags, three in each bag. I'm aiming to do 10, so that there's five days in the week and there's five like meals. Um, and then we are going to roast some vegetables and pop it in some tubs. So I'll show you as we go. My scale's just gone off. Um, so yeah, I'll show you as we go along. But basically we're just meal prepping lunches for the week. So they're nice and healthy and high protein. Here's our chicken. We've got 10 chicken breasts in total, all in the same seasoning. So I'm just going to put this in the fridge while we prepare our veg. Probably leave it for an hour or so and then put it in the oven. So I'm just about to put our vegetables in the oven to roast before I portion them up. So in here we've got some chopped leeks and carrots. In here we've got the rest of the carrots and some cauliflower. And I've just sprinkled it with balsamic vinegar instead of using oil and some sea salt so i'm just going to pop that in the oven for about 35 40 minutes along with the chicken obviously the chicken's going to take less so i'll take the chicken out in about 20 25 minutes i'm also going to pop in my chicken i'm going to have to do in stages but the marinade is soaked in nicely so i'm just going to wrap this in foil and pop it in so this is what we've got so far we have got in these i've got some roasted cauliflower the roasted leeks and the carrots and then my chicken on top just going to pop the lid on same in there same in there and then I've got two pieces of chicken, one for two different days, and I'll be doing probably salad with those, so I'm just going to put those, I'll put them in one because it saves space in the fridge. Steve's got three pieces in there because he's going to be having like rice and couscous and pasta with some of his. He's got carrots in that one, which he's going to add couscous to, and he's got cauliflower and carrots in that one, which is done. Yeah, so this is kind of the start of our meal prep, we're obviously going to let it all cool down. Um, and yeah, these are just going to sort of squish in together because of space saving. Yeah, this is our lunches for the week. So for tonight's dinner, we have a roast chicken dinner. I've done roast potatoes, obviously in the oven. We've got some chicken breast because that's the meat I had in, so I thought I'd use it. I've done some carrots, some cauliflower cheese, and some perfectly shaped homemade Yorkshire puddings. No, I'm not going to lie, they're actually frozen and they were from Sainsbury's because I'm not very good at making Yorkshire puddings. So <laughs> this is what we are having for our dinner tonight. And Jake has not got cauliflower cheese, he's got two roasted mushrooms because he's not keen on a cheese sauce. So we had no idea what to have for dinner tonight and we just decided that we fancy something really quick and simple. We've got some really nice malted bloomer bread from Lidl. This one's got some jalapeno primula on. This one's got some aged gouda with some tomato and chili chutney. We've got some blue cheese and some slices of chicken and some little mini Ritz crackers and that's what we're having tonight. Just really fancied it. We're gonna, me and Steve are gonna sit down, have a nice picky evening with our cheese and chutney on malted bread with all the extras. 
So for tonight's dinner, we are having a bit of a quick and easy dinner because we've actually been out and had some lunch earlier. So we didn't want a great deal. So we've actually got one of these muscle foods, high protein pots. These come ready-made, they're absolutely delicious and you can freeze them so i always stick a few in the freezer this one has got chicken breast sauteed potatoes sunshine sauce baby corn and diced red peppers and then what we like to do is we get a wrap and put some lettuce onion a bit of sriracha sauce and then i'll put some of this probably about half the pot in my wrap and then that's what we have for dinner but these pots are brilliant they do all sorts of different ones and they're really really tasty you don't need to add anything at all so that is what we're having tonight, Levi Roots High Protein Sunshine Chicken. Just thought I'd come back and show you actually in the wrap, I put a little bit of natural yogurt on top. I'm going to fold it up and it is really quick and easy and delicious. So my intentions for tonight's dinner were to make like a jambalaya. So I was going to buy some chorizo and then when I was in the shop, so I thought no, because I know I already had some of these reduced Richmond sausages in the fridge that need using up. So I'm going to use those. This is not going to be a jambalaya by the way. I've got some bacon that is already open and needs using and I've got half a chicken breast so I am going to I'm going to cook this if there's any sausages I don't put in the rice dish then I'll save them for the boys sandwiches tomorrow but I'm basically going to chop the bacon the chicken some sausages probably some frozen veg maybe peas um, some rice some seasoning smoked paprika which always makes a nice flavor and I might whisk some eggs through it to make like an egg fried rice dish just a big use up of things that would otherwise end up having to be thrown away so and these are really good these were one pound two p for 12 so i'm gonna probably lightly fry these few whilst the rice is cooking and then i will show you as i go along so we've got our sausages bacon and chicken in here and i'm just letting that cook and then i've got my rice boiling in there some garlic granules and some smoked paprika. I can also season it with some um, salt and pepper and like I said I might whisk a couple of eggs through and maybe put some frozen veg in. Really simple and quick dinner just using stuff up. So here it is served up. I've just added some smoked paprika, some garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper and there's some sauces in that that we can add afterwards if anybody wants any. So this is what's for dinner tonight. So this section of the video is kindly sponsored by Muscle Food, whom I've worked with for a really, really long time. So if you're not familiar with Muscle Food, it is an online delivery company that specialises in high protein lean meats. They also do recipe kits and meal plans. I've been using them for a good few years now and I absolutely love their products. The meat is really high quality and it's a lot more affordable than people think. The rump steaks can be as little as £2 each. The gammon steaks work out around a pound each. So it's definitely a lot more affordable than people think. Like I said, they do recipe kits. If you're not someone who likes putting together your own meals, you can just follow a step-by-step -step recipe card and get all the ingredients sent to you. They also do weight loss plans. They do muscle building plans. So I highly recommend you go and check out the website. I've got a code which is £5 off your first £60 spend and that is just Victoria5. So if you check out the link in the description box, go over to their website and have a look. I really do think you'll be surprised. There's lots of ways that you can shop affordably on there, especially if you build your own box. You can get a big discount that way. If you've got any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask because like I said, I've been using Muscle Food for years. I've been working with them for a really long time and it really is comparable, if not better value than a lot of the supermarket prices. So go and have a look. I'll leave all the information down below this video. So let's go and have a look at some of the things I've been making recently. So I'm just doing some dinner and we have got some of the muscle food um, free range beef hash steaks. And I just want to show you how big they are. These are the giant baps you get, like wholemeal baps you get. Um, like the really big ones, they're not normal sized burger rolls. And these are huge and they don't sink at all. And they're actually really thick as well. That's why I really like these ones because they don't, sometimes you cook burgers and they end up absolutely tiny, but the muscle food ones, don't shrink so I'm gonna put some cheese on and dish up so here are the burgers and I've just done some oven chips to go with them these are the boys so they are having two because you know teenagers and this is what's for dinner tonight so for tonight's dinner I have done the boys one of their favorites this is the muscle food tandoori chicken thighs I do these in a variety of different ways 
I can do them on the grill so they get the nice lines on and go nice and crispy. They work really well in the air fryer, but today I had the oven on anyway, so I just chopped them on a tray for about 25 minutes, about 180, and they come out really nice. They're so soft in the middle and really nice and crispy on the outside. So that's the muscle food chicken thighs. Got some salad with some red pepper, uh, lettuce, cucumber, tomato, and then jacket potato that I started in the microwave for about six minutes and then popped in the oven with the chicken. And they just got a little grating of extra mature cheddar. So this is what the boys have got tonight. So another day, another salad. Can you tell that one of my favorite foods in the world is salad? This is honestly like my go-to meal, this or soup. Um, what I've done is got some muscle food chicken mince out of the freezer and decided I didn't want it as like a tomato -y, cauliflower ricey thing that I was going to do. So I turned it into burgers. So I had smoked paprika, garlic powder, some chilli powder and some fresh basil that I've got grown in the garden as you can see. Just formed it into little patties and then I popped them in the air fryer. They took around, let me think that takes, probably about 12-13 minutes. Salad, we've got a mixed leaf salad, some pea shoots, onions, cucumber, some Mazzano tomatoes, extra light mayo and some balsamic vinegar. Oh, and some really, really hot jalapeno peppers from a jar. And this is what is for tonight's dinner. So for dinner tonight, I've done the boys some sausages in buns. These are the muscle food pork sausages. I've just cut them open, but they are one of our favorites. They are packed full of meat, hardly any fat, well, no fat comes out at all really high meat content and they're really nice so i've got those in the buns i've got some baked beans and some chips proper kids kind of dinner they've got ketchup and mustard and steve and i are also having muscle food sausages but i will show you how i've done ours the boys did have the option to have theirs the way we're having ours but they chose it like this obviously <laughs> so we have got skinny sausages again by muscle food these are the chicken ones and they're flavored with herbs they're really really good I've got mine with salad and a bit of light salad cream and I've chopped them up because I just like eating them like that. Steve's also got a jacket potato that we have nicknamed King Kong because it was the only one left in the bag and it's absolutely massive. He's also got a cheese triangle and some barbecue sauce. So this is how we're having our sausages and we're going to go and eat with the boys. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you want to be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too